well, this is flickering screen annoying cassette master rather laid back at this point in time this is the brightly lit washed out cassette master oh shoot the flickering video looks so crappy you're going to lose your mind and you're going to die but over here we got crazy sunlight going on <laughs> in other words the lighting for my videos sucks the question one would ask is what is this big honking electronics project here you can clearly see it's got an EEPROM on it. So it's got some kind of ROM. And so the EEPROM happens to be a Texas Instruments TMS 27C512. It can hold up to 64 kilobytes of data, but I'm only using half. This bad boy here is a real-time clock. We got uh, shift registers and latches over here. A 373. And lo and behold, a PIC 18F4580 microcontroller. Whoa, what the heck was that? Here's the best part of it all. The Texas Instruments TMS 5220 Linear Predictive Coding Speech Synthesis Chip from the 1980s. And here we have some displays. Well, here we have the time displayed 1750. Listen to this. Pretty amazing, eh? It is a talking clock. This device only does 24 hour format. Beautiful. That's never happened before, but we've gotten to some kind of infinite loop. And I can't do anything to get out of it. I have to turn it off and on again. This thing can be rather finicky sometimes, especially whenever I'm making a video about it. I think it's done for. I think it's over with. Maybe we just have to leave it off for longer. <laughs> I 
sounds more like it. Gee, that time it normally. I push, I push a button each time I want to hear the time. I plan on programming it more later to automatically say it if you said it that way. Because I can always add more to the program. Happy birthday, Stephen Day. Road is hot. I have a feeling the RAM we have in here is bad. It's for audio recording, but it doesn't seem to work very well. Now let's set the date. Today is Sunday. It is the 24th. They don't have the display set right now to show the date, right? Wrong button. That's the button to play through all the EEPROM. And boy, does it take a long time. Set the date. I never even had to say the date because I was an idiot. I don't think it ever set the month at all. Set that again. to say it from the date. 
See if I can remember. listen to all the stuff I have on the EEPROM playthrough in sequence. If I use the zero key it plays from the starting byte on through. The problem is is because since different phrases have um, the are basically the stopping address is different than the starting ad the stopping address of one phrase is different than the starting address of the next phrase. So it's better if I press the 2 key, it puts the starting address of the phrase, then a number of bytes, then the starting address of the next phrase, and its number of bytes, and so on, specifically for testing out the talking clock messages. To play from the starting address on through is for testing out EEPROMs that have custom messages. So I'm going to play all the messages I have stored on this EEPROM, specifically for the talking clock. Happy birthday, Evan Rogers. Oh, oh, oh. Merry Christmas, everyone. The time. Today's date. Happy Thanksgiving. Be sure to eat lots of turkey. Happy Halloween. It's the apocalypse. The world is ending. No, just kidding. Happy April Fool's Day is mode. Happy New Year's Day. Yay! Are you wearing green? It's your lucky day. St. Patrick's Day. Happy birthday, Stephen Day. Hooray and yay. It is John Klein's birthday. I am turning years old. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
Sorry, it's blurry. It's I, I can't see it quick enough on the live feed. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.